motivation some serious motivation yeah we are always motivating the youth so trust me the motivation today you now you you, you cannot begin it you, hey did i say you cannot begin it you see today they would just want to try me but forget it Let's, let's zoom straight into the motivational quote for today now the quote is you can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy Trigger, do you have anything to say um the quote just it, it just uh, let me say it just makes sense mm-hmm. makes a lot of sense mm-hmm. also we have it's just like we have our own saying that problem no definish to try to, to enjoy, enjoy joy. Yes. So, yes. That's the street way of saying it, yes. honestly. But how are they finished? No matter how much money you get today, there is always another problem. Mm-hmm. So enjoy the moment. Live in the moment because that moment will never come again. Mm-hmm. So you life doesn't get easy. Mm-hmm. It always gets hard. So you just enjoy when you whilst you are alive. That's all I can say for Okay that. now. DJ Otebe, what do you have to say? Yeah, I think if you want it to be very easy, then you have to keep remaining a kid. Right. <laughs> Even with that, you'll be sent, go and buy this. The moment you come, they'll tell you, oh, I forgot, go again. Mm-hmm. So go and wash plates. And as you are washing, they will add one more plate yes. to it. <laughs> So okay, you just live the moment as it is. Okay, so live in the moment as it is. Charlie, I cry is hot, but tell I cry that you are hotter. Oh, party people, as you are partying and you are peopling, I am here to just tell you that Charlie, that cry economy, it is hard for us. It is hard. Medical said it is I cry. It's not a cry anymore. It is I cry. And we, as we are crying, we are dancing and we are enjoying. That's why you have to listen to Enjoyment Radio so that you can enjoy with us. I heard you saying some things, B. Oh, sorry. We are back again. Yeah. yeah. New week, new energy. Yeah. Okay. We are here with some sports updates for our sports segment. All right. So, like, let's just get straight into it. Okay. Today, we're focusing on um the women's world cup that okay. is ongoing so currently there is a tournament ongoing which is the women's world cup which is ongoing and some of the matches have been really really interesting there have been a lot of cracks crack up games and it has been really one one good tournament so far okay. unfortunately for us ghana is not in action so then we are throwing our weights behind our nigerian counterparts okay who have been in an excellent form who are delivering as we, we speak so over the weekend we had some games and the first the one game i'll start with was the game nigeria versus australia okay so nigerian locked horns with australia and then they beat australia that's the hosting nation one of the yeah. hosting nations yes right? yeah. one of the host nations so they beat australia by three goes to two Ooh. the game started with australia taking the lead okay nigeria came back came in hard equalized and then it went to two two draw but then before the game ended they asked one of their star players which is um oshola we all call her sister to oshola okay. gave a cracking goal that led them to win that particular game so it was i mean aside just the, the the goal there has been a lot of controversy surrounding her celebration for the goal why she took off her jersey oh yeah i yeah. hear even yeah. for the men's football it's not allowed it, yeah it's it's not allowed you you get the card for that but uh, i mean it's an it's excitement okay. you know when you know you just when you thought the game was being held to a draw then I mean, so far she was wearing something under yeah, the, 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 the jersey. It's it's fine. I mean, we football fans were not even looking at what she was. It's just the excitement, okay. how to take the chance and then net that goal and then get the win for your country. So yeah, Ghana was not part, but then we rallied behind Nigeria for them to get, grab us a win. And also, just leaving from one Nigerian <coughs> counterpart to our South African counterparts mm-hmm. south africa also held a 2-2 draw as they locked horns with argentina okay so they also played the 2-2 draw with argentina so, so it's more like the boys doing uh, the girls doing what their boys couldn't do isn't yes, it yes <laughs> uh, exactly you, okay. you know i mean now they say what men can do women can do is better so but it's true yeah we, we, when we get there we will see mm-hmm. yeah so moving far away from that also another african representative for the world cup was morocco now morocco secured their first win 
when edging of south south korea in adelaide on saturday sorry on sunday after being humbled by 6-0 by germany in their open game for the competition now nuhela benzina becomes the first um player to wear hijab to play in the world cup oh really yes so there was a picture circulating about this player he's a american player who had worn a, a hijab to play in, is in she a, playing for morocco yes yeah, she's playing for morocco, morocco. Okay. so she wore a hijab to play in a tournament and she's the only one wearing the hijab yes but then that's no, interesting because i know moroccans are predominantly muslims muslims so. and then half of the place are also muslims but none of none them none of them are wearing hijabs yes. well. so then uh, she she decided to represent herself okay in, in that outfit it was stunning i mean it looked nice it looked then, nice on her yeah it looked nice and i think it, that doesn't take away the fact that she's very good mm-hmm. but she's a very good footballer in the course of the week course of last week arsenal took on barcelona and then we were really humbled by <laughs> arsenal mm-hmm. arsenal disciplined barcelona by five goals to three wow yes they, they had a five goals to three victory for interested tens barcelona Bas- yes almighty barcelona arsenal yes arsenal really humbled barcelona <laughs> Look at the y- yeah face. yes they really humbled us mm-hmm. disciplined us mm-hmm. each play they outplayed us five goals to yes three. they outplayed us disciplined us showed her as that this is football coming from england mm-hmm. coming from arsenal the mm-hmm. invisible arsenal the invisible arsenal. yes so we had we haven't taught a lesson by us now barcelona decides to take their revenge onto real madrid oh now barcelona also lashes real madrid by three goals to zero upon mm-hmm. all the money they that's spent that's an el Clasico, isn't it yes uh-huh. after the, all the money they spent in the transfer season getting recruiting players here and everybody was like hey madrid getting players it's very scary but then guess what but doesn't madrid always have that problem i remember back in the day madrid madrid had the world 11 like the best players from madrid all has of, always had all over the best the world. players they but, have they had then, the galacticos yeah they had the likes of zidane they had the likes of ronaldo they had the likes of kaka yeah but there was a there was at a point where they were all playing together yes that right? was the galacticos but then at the end of the day it, Mad- it, it, barcelona it, was still last yes. yeah, that is that is what makes barcelona barcelona okay. so yeah that has been that has been it for the, the world, the of, world sports. of sports yes. all so right that is trigger from the world of sports sorry the 411 from the world of sports why the question of the day is if you found a bag of cash worth seventy thousand us seventy thousand donald no not, not even donald trump what joe biden and kamala harris dollars hmm, in a taxi what will you do if you found a bag of cash worth seventy thousand US dollars in a taxi? What would you do? Trigger. <laughs> wow. Uh, it depends on my mood at that time. <laughs> it depends on your mood. <laughs> yes, my mood in the sense that if I'm, I'm damn really need of money, mm-hmm. that's that then I don't think twice. Okay. Yes, but if by then I'm okay, German radio take me go tours, I go places, I get all the money. Maybe I'll I'll take the money and return it to the police. Take it to the police station, make an announcement okay. for it. But, but, but that makes today, sense. today, 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 Monday, thirty first July, twenty twenty three. Ah, I don't think maybe that might be my breakthrough. So I'll I'll take it until someone comes forward to say my money is missing. Okay. So you keep it for how long? <laughs> I'll, start, I'll start doing business. You start doing business? The moment I take $70,000. Okay. Hey! <laughs> so you won't keep it for that long? That's what you're saying? You heard about that made that's for that's the $1 million. Yeah. Traveled, what started buying houses, businesses, cars. Yeah. Houses. yeah. That is exactly me. That's exactly you, eh? Yeah. No problem. That's why. But you trigger. Just last week, you were saying that. You are going to return money if you found it. When the video gave ten thousand uh, dollars to someone who had uh, returned seventy thousand dollars, that is why I said depends on the mood. That by then, I was so it, it depends on vibes, yeah. pure vibes. Yeah, it was Yo. it was the mood by then. That's something they miss. Right? Yo, you are here. You now, BJ Otabel. Let me come to you. I won't return it. You won't return it. No. Okay. Why? They will not find me anyway. No. <laughs> 
So imagine maybe the person was going to use it for something very and important. And me I'm going to use it for something very important. The person wow. has been careless and I've been careful. That's the truth. I can't what? believe this. You yes. guys. What the is it? What was your money? Your money and you left it. Hey, I've been careless. And, <laughs> haven't you misplaced your money before that you never found? So yes. then you, I've been careless and the person was careful. So okay. vice versa, you've been careless and I've been careful. Maybe it's a blessing from God. I've prayed for money and God has sorted me out. Okay. You know they say God it works in a mysterious way. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Now let's go to our social media users. Now, please, if you're listening to me, just go straight to our social media platforms, such as Enjoyment underscore Radio on formerly Twitter now X, and then of course we are Enjoyment Radio on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and of course Threads, and then send in your answers because I really want to find out what people are thinking or people are thinking of doing if they should be presented with such a situation now Caleb is saying i will take it home and start a business he is following trigger and dj Otabel's plan in, in fact dj Otabel, what are you going to use the money for yeah, when we get to the river you cross <laughs> all right that makes sense if you get to the river you cross now vicentia is saying take it and go home god works in mysterious ways why are you bringing god in this oh we are it's true because you see god will not Come down from heaven and come and give you the money that we are take this money. It's some. It's it will pass through somebody, and it's okay. passing through that careless person. Okay. Yes. Now, Baba, our dear Baba is also saying, "I will take it and send it home. If the person needs it, he or she will definitely find me. Until then, it's vacation time. <laughs> Maybe it's money rituals. Who cares? Wow. So you you spend the ritual money. Every money na money you. Uh-huh. I'll go and give ten percent to God. That, that one would ten, would they say it's ten, spiritual money? Ten percent is seven hundred dollars, isn't it? No, if it's seventy thousand, that would be like seven thousand. Seven thousand dollars. You see, I'm very, I'm very bad at math, so seven thousand dollars. Imagine yes. going to church and presenting your pastor with seventy seven thousand dollars in this Ghana. Please, can that someone do the calculation for me? Seven thousand dollars. They will build. They will build this one. They'll build what? They'll build it, whatever projects. Every wow. house they want to build at the church. They will. Now, Adolf is going straight into what they go on. Charlie, what they go on for Accra? What they go on for Nairobi? What they go on for the United States of America, Canada, Russia? Wherever the enjoyment is, as I always tell you, we are going to bring it straight to your doorstep. So let's zoom in straight into the first story, which is Black Sheriff's career is facing severe demonic attack. Honestly, when it comes to this one, I don't know what um, this man wants us to say about it i hope they pray about it but hey controversial marriage counselor and show pandas counselor george lutrett has shared his thoughts on musician black sheriff's recent saga he believes the artist is facing demonic demonic challenges in his career mr lutrett explained that the current challenges being battled by the Konongo star boy are not normal hence should seek backup for from his faith whichever he believes in now the challenges black sharif is facing aren't normal it could be a serious demonic attack on their career on his career sorry his team does not seem to realize the severity of the situation but those on the other side see what is happening black sharif and his team should seek refuge from the faith they believe in whether in god allah or whichever smaller deity they believe because his career is under demonic attack black sharif was aware of what the contract read and did not go according to it this issue shouldn't be taken for granted because he's battling a demonic attack trigger yeah for for demonic attack all of us (laughs) (laughs) i mean the word of god says for preach preach yes we, we, we wrestle against what um, not flesh and blood, right. but um, but uh, spirits yes. from high places. Yes. I think that's uh, the principalities and all that. So and it, yes. it's it's not just black sheriff. All of us, one way or the other, we are we, we are battling demonic attacks, spiritual attacks, and all that. It's just by grace that we all wake up, walk around, and feel like nothing is happening. But in the spiritual realm. Everybody's battling one something. Okay. Something that will take your life away. Something that will put you down and all that. So I mean he's it's 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 not it's not a new thing. Probably he thinks 
that is just it by my people just one of those it's, it's showbiz you know showbiz a lot of things happen controversies and things happen so it might be one of those things that anybody any other person could just go through but then because he's a superstar people will feel uh, his career is on a siege and all that so for me it's, it's just like probably well it might be it might be true it might not be true Okay. It all depends on what you believe in. Anyway, just in. I'm so excited about this. But I mean, we've been talking about this. I mean, Samini and how he's been to school at his big age and how it is serving as a um, motivation for not just the youth, for other people that it is never late to go back to pursue higher learning. Wherever you stop, you can still go back and go to school. Now, Samini bags degree from G- Green Hill Campus, Gimpa. Reggae dancer musician Samini G- Dagati has successfully bagged a degree in project management after four years of toil from the Green Hill Gimpa Campus. The artist's journey at Gimpa had come to a fruitful conclusion, he is determined to show his hard work and determination to serve as an inspiration for several musicians who are juggling passion with education. Samini, in a post shared, expresses joy and gratitude to fans. Bad my degree. Hashtag project management after four years in the Green Hill. Uh, thank God. Uh, it's a, a hashtag TGBTG. Thank you, Gimpa at Gimpa Green Hill and then he has a, a few hat emojis in there and then of course hashtag Achesa and then of course he tagged his photographer in the post. He also served as a student representative council president at the university during his study. Listen, listen here from here at Enjoyment Radio, we just have to say uh, congratulations to Samini and uh, thank you for showing the youth the way. Thank you for being such a wonderful or such a good mentor or such a good example for people in the entertainment industry. Now let's go straight into our next story this one i don't even know how you guys are going to react to it but i guess we are going to talk about it now Ghanaian snapchat influencers influencer gifts mom five hundred thousand ghana cds on her birthday five billion old ghana cds money day money, money day, day online now popular snapchat influencer dulcie boatin celebrated her mother on her birthday in grand style the socialites known for her luxurious lifestyle and living um ap- lifestyle and living appreciated her mother gifting her a whooping amount of 500k ghana series half a million in her on her birthday netizens on the blog have gone haywire over the kind gesture of the young famous lady dorsey is the ceo of dorsey porium and um runs an advertising business for persons and clients who are looking to reach a wider market target congratulations to her all don't see <laughs> 500 000. the mother should just go and pay gift tax that's all right i guess i mean she's done well to be able to give her mom something like what that what is she doing to get 500 000? You just you just saw that madame influencer. is an influencer and it's five billion or five that. billion like if you say billion it's always in the old currency and it's yes. the ceo of those five billion billion of no, you know, play, you know, right? like somebody chop bets like that you know uh, five five billion okay, okay. Hmm. It, it 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 my well i feel the mom deserves it because raising up a child to to that level I mean, our, our parents always deserve whatever we give them. The little we give them, they always appreciate. So if we give them the bigger ones too, they, 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 they. And the most interesting thing about this is that she did not wait to Mother's Day to show it off. Mm-hmm. Like other people. But it's her mother's birthday. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's the best. You know, some people, when it's the mother's birthday, they just get the mother gift or something and then shush. Which is also good, isn't yeah. it? Oh, it is good. But I'm trying to say, it's 500,000 Ghana cities old. I'm just saying that um so you're I making... thought you said it's somebody's bet is bet. No. Oh no, I'm yeah. trying. I, 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 no, bad. from what I'm hearing from you, I'm making it seem as if like getting a gift for your mother on your bed on the bed day is not as good as five hundred thousand.